very good day to you. We come to the end of our balance sheet of life, ending with three positives, pluses. Firstly, the most prized possession, integrity. Yes, truth, honesty. How we wish those in politics, those in authority in our country and our world would value and show forth integrity, truth. Yes, there is a lot of talk, but very little action in this regard. However, let us make sure there is no plank in our own eye before we judge them. Let us, to use a rather vulgar phrase, keep our noses clean and always make sure that we, you and I, are always clothed with integrity, truth. Then secondly, the most powerful channel of communication, prayer. The Apostle Paul again and again urges us to be constantly, always in touch, in communication with God. And remember, prayer should be 90% listening to God and only 10% offering our requests to him. Thirdly, the most contagious spirit, enthusiasm. This is a word that comes from the Greek word en, meaning in, and theos, meaning God. To be enthusiastic means to be constantly involved with God so that his power, his love, his truth lead and guide us through all the chances and changes of life. Lastly, do you remember that our balance sheet of life, which we have been checking out these past six days, ends with these four statements. Life ends when you stop dreaming. Hope ends when you stop believing. Love ends when you stop caring. And friendship ends when you stop sharing. All of them must end in action. As James says, faith without works is dead. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we draw near to the end of this week, grant that we may not just be hearers of your word, but that we must put our faith, our love, and yes, our hope into action. Help us to obey Jesus' commandment to let our light so shine before men and women that they may glorify not us, but you, our Father in heaven. And also that, as he said, we are to be the salt of the earth as we follow him day by day, come what may. We pray now for our politicians in Parliament, provincial and municipal legislatures, for our judiciary as they deal with crucial matters that affect the citizens of our country physically, mentally, economically, and in the sanctity of human life in this time of crisis in our country, when so many citizens are without work, decent homes, and basic services, food, water, and sanitation. We pray that your hand will guide us all in the fight against the evils of corruption in many sectors of our population, abuse of power, gender discrimination, farm murders and hatred. For your love's sake we ask this. Amen. So go out into the world as the light and salt of Jesus himself, that, like him, we may make a difference in this world in his name. Amen. We are